Well, we pick up where we left off with Gary Lumpen going after the villain, but not before explaining to Danny Rampa why this had been kept a secret for so long. Gary Lopen effortlessly defeats the villain. And soon begins the rush to locate and rescue the captive. And, uh, they do. Well. Silver Scent. Defused. Preps the villains for delivery to the authorities. And as the villains are incarcerated, the GI Scent team goes to celebrate at Pie's Pizzeria. What follows afterwards is a short PSA about how important it is to fasten your seat belt. Done in style of the Knowing is Half the Battle segment from G.I. Joe. In the next chapter, News anchor, Hey Rampa, delivers a news article about an upcoming fan animation based on Sly Cooper. Everyone gets interested. As the, as the voice cast is lifted off. And when I say everyone, I mean everyone, including Miss Smith and Monster Ops. And even Annie Rampa's teacher Silver Kuma and so begins the next chapter. Chapter 3, Saturday Morning Vibes, or One Saturday Morning. Naturally, Silverson and Retzko want to celebrate with a 
Sly Cooper party, but or since clones would rather sleep in and as they do so any Rampa wonders how Oh, everyone else took this news. Surprisingly quite well. The only ones who, who aren't aware of the Sly Cooper animation or the games for that matter is Angle and Natsumi. So she or Angrampa Resco and Solar Sand are more than happy to explain the whole premise. Including a one side relationship with police detective Armelia Fox. And even Manga Common joins in on the conversation. Sorcent then allows the girls to borrow his copies of the first three Sly Cooper games. And that's how the two girls become as excited for the new series as everyone else. Meanwhile, another newcomer Susie from the now cancelled Summer Camp Island arrives at the Rift Cafe. Much to the amusement of everyone, including Camp swim coach, any Rampa. But now we're faced with a new problem. Saffing. Suddenly getting ideas. And Sorcent looks to get even with her. Much to the delight of horror hostess Amy Rampa.
course, Silver Saint can't do this alone, so... He decides to go put together a Seek and Destroy team. Meanwhile, Hakawago is in a deer's den. Along with his bunny plushie. Well, he's aroused from his sleep. And the team is assembled. In more ways than one, with yet another fusion. This one being the new Aku scent. And so we end part two of the Scribble Nay. An A Rampa comic power hour.